Good morning everyone and welcome to the Temple of Saint Sava in Kraljevo, Serbia. This video is part number 12 of my 2022 Serbia series and it's very much a follow-up to the previous video where we explored the city in one of my regular style videos and also went to the amazing Zhica Monastery which is absolutely one of my top five places to go in Serbia possibly even top three. The Temple of St. Sava wasn't in that video, hence I'm here. We'll have a look inside in a second. And today, as with my other 4K walk around videos, we're just having a walk around for half an hour without me on camera. <laughs> so you can get a bit of an insight into the city on the back of the previous one. I probably can't film in here. Oh, I can. Very pretty, isn't it? As always. I love that blue colour that's in these temples, churches, monasteries. Sort of a dark, rich, royal blue. Goes well with the gold, doesn't it? Let's go before someone shouts at me. I can understand why they would, to be honest. <laughs> but never mind. I've got a lot to tell you in this video, all right? And a lot to talk about. So it's gonna be walking and talking with periods of silence. It's impressive, isn't it? Black dome with the clouds moving behind it quite quickly. Stunning. We're heading towards the center area. Now, in the last video, I did state that I was gonna do this 4K walk around on Saturday evening, which I did do, but unfortunately I decided to scrap it halfway through because I realized Kaliavo isn't really the right kind of city to do a darkness video in. It was just very dark and not much happening, you know. Hence, we are here today instead. Additionally, at the end of the last video, I did state I was going to go to Maglić Fortress, but since then I have received confirmation that there is actually extensive renovation happening, as I mentioned at the end of the last one. Scaffolding galore, so honestly I would prefer to go there at a time when there isn't renovation. So I've done a bit of a scrap and replace, I've reorganised my video plan. Zhica. 
the amazing monastery. There's also Studenica, which is another one. I think it's about 39 kilometers away though. Sunday morning bakeries in Serbia. A hive of activity as always. Right, there's 42 seconds to cross. I'm not just going to stand there. Let's walk down here. And speaking of Zicha, you're not going to believe this. After getting the last drone shots, it seems I left my phone on a bench. But by the time I realised this, I was already halfway home on the bus. But to be honest with you, it's not a disaster because I desperately needed a new one. It was smashed. It wasn't working properly. So maybe it was fate. Look at the autumn colours starting to appear. It is the 2nd of October today, 2022. The yellows are appearing. Always queues outside bakeries, very popular, of course. Definitely a better idea to do this in the daytime. Stunning. Now back to my right, up there and to the left, is where we went in the previous video to the Spominics. The bus station is up that way and I'm staying a little bit further on with a lovely lady called Natasha in a typical Serbian residential block. Very similar to where I'm from, to be honest, as I've said many times in the past, which I'll kind of touch on a little bit later with my opinions of Kraljevo.
I like the colours up there. And the Cyrillic text, of course, adds a nice effect. This was the last street my phone was picked up on Google Maps because I picked up Wi-Fi as I came around this corner. But obviously I didn't lose it here. Useless fact of the day. Oh look, there's a penis on that graffiti. Feels like home. Right, which way is the centre? Without the phone, I'm limited to my 1960s level of sense of direction without one. It's that way, brilliant. This is that grey concrete building I mentioned at the beginning of the last one. I think it's a bank, or is it a post office? One of them. Yep, bank. At least there's an ATM there anyway.
theatre of Kralievo is this way as well. Yeah, here's the monument, World War One. I. I think the first Baltic War as well, or something. Balkan, even. Looks a bit nicer than yesterday, because it was a bit cloudy in that one. Right, the city market is to my right. I've not been there. While we're going there, let's talk about Kralievo. It's time for an honest opinion. Why well, change the habit of a lifetime? Um, I don't really like it, to be honest. <laughs> Sorry to anyone from Kralievo, although I feel like in Serbia I don't need to apologize because it's one of the things that make me like being in Serbia because I feel like I don't have to walk on eggshells as I do in, let's say, sp particular Latin American countries that I film videos in. In Serbia, if you don't like somewhere, you can say it quite freely. And people who are from here don't respond like a petulant five-year-old child having a temper tantrum. They respect my opinion and respond in an adult manner Maybe they might disagree, they might say, you know, you've only been there for one day, how can you evaluate it? Which is absolutely correct, I completely agree. But there isn't this offence taken, and something about Serbia in comparison to other countries is that, yes, there are people that are incredibly proud of being from Serbia, incredibly proud of whatever city they're from. But equally, you have people who hate it that say, it's shit, I wish I wasn't from Serbia. And I'm sure that happens everywhere, but there is this notion of fake positivity and national pride, fake national pride, that some seem to need to have and demonstrate, not in Serbia. And that's normal. It's normal not to like somewhere. It's perfectly okay. You know, we have opinions. If you ask me what I think of where I'm from, I hate it. It's a dump. It's a shithole. It's Satan's bumhole. Hence, I haven't been there for about six years. Longer, actually. And why? <laughs> I forgot that bit. <laughs> um, I just feel like it's a bit of an average city in a country. In some ways, I feel like it's neglected in a way. A little bit like niche in some ways and I know this is going to sound ridiculous but when you go into a maxi they feel neglected like the company has kind of forgotten that Kralievo exists and has not updated those maxis and things like that and it's kind of a trend across the city really yes there are lovely things like the temple we saw and the Spomeniks and the church and the Zidja of course is absolutely one of the best things ever in Serbia but overall, I just kind of get a sense of overwhelming normality, averageness, and especially in residential areas, an element of despair in the air. Just like where I'm from, it's very familiar. I'll be curious to know what you think about Kralievo. Am I reacting in completely the wrong way? Or is it valid? I actually spoke to someone yesterday who went to university here and he said to me that he would never come back. <laughs> and I felt validated in my opinion.
That's not to say that Kralievo is a shithole, but, you know, it hasn't really blown my socks off as other cities in Serbia have. And that's perfectly fine because, you know, what country in the world has cities which are all top tier elite? Nowhere. Let's go down here. Oh, there's a beautiful angel. Mats, mats, mats. Hello. Oh, it's not so beautiful. Look. Oh, it's stray and it's so bony. Hello, angel. I haven't got any food. Oh, I think it's got something wrong with it too. It's, it's got a massive lump on the right side of its head that's not there on the left. Definitely not its skull. Ugh. Sorry, angel. The leaves are falling from the trees. Autumn is here. Thank Christ. Well, oh, that's shiny, isn't it? Oh, the thing with the dog and the cat in the last video. This old man was shouting at me for shouting at the dog. <laughs> I hope that cat's all right. I went back there later in the day and uh, neither the cat or dog were to be seen. Okay, let's get thinking. Let's go this way. I said I was going to go to the market, but I completely forgot about that. Brilliant. Let's go back this way then. Oh, there's a Catholic church. I've seen enough churches for a lifetime, to be honest. Okay, the market is meant to be down here. I don't know where it is, to be honest. Oh, no, that's Gala Market. This street last night, you know, it's the wider street in a city with uh, restaurants and stuff. It was all very nice. I haven't deleted that video, by the way. It's sitting on my laptop. I probably won't upload it. Thank you. 
Typical residential Serbia. Let's take a little trip. So we're coming to the end. What do you think of Kraljevo? I'd be especially interested to hear if you are from Kraljevo. What are your views as a resident, as a local? I like those concrete things. By the way, I'm showing graffiti, but I love graffiti places. You know, if you've seen my previous videos, I'm not a sexy 20 something youtuber who goes to luxury resorts mm -hmm. so i said at the beginning of the last one that we're over halfway in my service series for this year it only feels like yesterday i was clambering through of Chadbanya. Um but it was um, almost two months ago <laughs> time flies when you're having fun so coming up I think there are about six videos left in Serbia one of which has another monastery which is quite possibly up there with Zica let's just say it's east of Kragujevac where we went last year and north of Krushevats. Begins with M. <laughs> I'm giving you a lot of clues. We're also visiting some smaller towns in that region before heading to one in western Serbia, actually two, which have been recommended by probably a million people in the last couple of years. It begins with L before one final video from Ujice where I am staying before we head to my final videos on YouTube <laughs> ever yes it's coming to an end after six years Right, I need a drink, a cigarette, and maybe some budek. So I'll see you next time in somewhere <laughs> that I'm not revealing. Um, it begins with D, and it's the place with the monastery. We're just near there. Lovely. And there's a dog down there. Woof, woof. See you next time. Catch you later.